it's like walking into a second home. You know everybody, everyone feels like family, and they're all there to support you and make sure that you're successful for your future. If like anyone needs help with anything, like we will be there for each other, and it's just like a good community. I'm Payson Dickinson. I go to Centerville ISD. I'm Haley Wynn. I'm in 12th grade. I go to Cypher High School. My name is Jasmine Lee. Um, I'm Lainey. So um, my name's Jessica. I'm a senior. Um, my name's Kate Rogers. I've been going to Centerville since pre-K. Um, my name's Josh Campbell. Um, my senior year here at Cypher High School. Oh, my name is Anja Seiler. I'm Stephanie Lyle. I'm the associate principal here at Cypher High School. Uh, my name is Isabella Hernandez. Um, I've been going to Cypher for four years. I um, am a senior. Um, going to Sci Fair is very, um, I would say, rewarding because there's a lot of opportunities that is like offered here. So I'm Jonah, Jonah Cote, and I'm in the 12th grade. Some things I do at Sci Fair is everything. I'm in a lot of clubs, but mainly Stuco, Best Buddies, and Taffy. And I'm on the varsity basketball team, the varsity track team, varsity baseball team. Um, I do a lot of volunteering and just sports, so I'm in basketball and key club, NHS, and all. I participate in welding competitions. I play soccer, wrestle, I do track. Um, I'm president of the Athletic Leadership Council here. I'm the vice president of our 4-H, and I'm the vice president of community service for our FCCLA organization. I play the flute during concert season. I am the president of our FFA. I joined FFA when I was a freshman, and honestly, like the only reason I joined like at first was just because I wanted to raise an animal. FFA is one of the totem poles, one of the supporting braces of the school. Like since I joined, I know what I want to do. I want to be a vet now for like livestock animals, large animals, stuff like that. Because out here, agriculture is everything. I mean, you see ranches and cows, and those ranchers have kids, and those kids want to learn about agriculture. I did not really grow up in agriculture. My parents are from Chicago, so as you can imagine, you know, they're not very, like, agriculturally centered. And as for the competitiveness, me and my officers, we get pretty competitive. Um, I have, like, a speech. It's, like, six to eight minutes. I think mine's, like, seven, actually. Um, and it's about, like, a specific thing in agriculture. And then we go and compete. And I actually made it to state for that last year. So placed fifth at state. So, yeah. We still go compete, and we still get a decent amount of rewards and banners. And you know, once you're an FA, you're kind of just a family. It doesn't matter what your background was. It doesn't matter where you came from because either way, you can rise to be something better. Centerville is awesome. It's like a family. I can go in. I mean, I can go to the little building and know the little kids' names. The teachers in elementary are still there that taught me when I was in elementary. So. Um, just like a very good, I'd say, community and inclusive and like you'll be able to like just like make a lot of friends and just like um, just a good like academic uh, area as well. But to be able to walk out to the little building and they know your name and you're like and I'm like I know your name too. <laughs> uh, there is one little boy his name is Johnny. I'm like hey Johnny. He's like you know my name. I'm like yeah. <laughs> he's like how do you know? I'm like I'm just that good. <laughs> I'm just that good. I feel comfortable, like it's student body, I feel comfortable being able to walk up to almost any student at Cypher High School with a friendly interaction. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was younger, I had this one dude, and he was bigger, and his name is Caleb, he's real tall. He walked by me, he's like, do you want me to open your locker? <laughs> and I just remember looking, I'm like, yes, please. <laughs> also, like, academically, if like anyone needs help with anything, like we will be there for each other, and it's just like a good community. I always wanted to stay on top of my grades. I don't like, you know, have to do makeup work or anything. So I always try to make sure, you know, I do what I do, I do to the best of my abilities. And if there's something I need to fix, go back and fix it. You do have to, you know, stay on top of your work, uh, especially like even like beginning like freshman year, you have to start off strong because if you want to keep that GPA, you have to, you know. Freshman year, I was like, I think I'm interested in taking college courses. Like kind of like know like the courses you want to take and like what path you want to be in. And they were like, okay, we can get you in college courses, this, this, and this. And so I'm like, this is what I'm interested in for like a career. And so I gave her my degree plan. And so we're trying to accommodate which classes could benefit me for those. With the top students, it is very competitive. I'm super busy. <laughs> Uh, as I said, I'm in pretty much anything the school has to offer. You just have to have a good time management and be able to keep up with your classwork, but also keep up with your extra activities that you want to do. Well, right now in high school, there's not a whole lot of girls that are in athletics, so it's not as competitive as it used to be, but it's still fun, you know, to go out there and 
you know, run, jog. I've played at Sci Fair since I was a freshman. I was on JV as a freshman, and then I made varsity my sophomore year, and I've been on varsity since. I'm a senior this year, so. One thing last year, we didn't have a girls team, so I played with the boys last year, which was an experience. I loved it, but I'm glad we have a girls team again. Um, we've been really successful in the past. They, there's been three WNBA players that have came through here in the past like 15 years. Um, Our kids still, I, I don't think that they're they're um, gypped in any way. We have. The same kids that do those things are also in our FFA programs, our 4-H programs, um, our FCCLA programs. I mean, we keep them busy with a lot of extracurricular. Um, there are definitely advantages and opportunities. There's a lot of things from CTE to sports and athletics. Um, I think that our students, even though it's a large campus, I think we still personalize it and make them feel important. and. You know, try to get to know them, learn them by name. I said, well, you can't hide here at Centerville. We know everybody, and, and I know what everybody's grades are, and I know who's not bringing their homework. Cypher definitely, it opened up my social skills for sure. I came into Cypher not knowing many people, and then I was forced to open up. You don't need a lot of people to make you successful. You just need the right people. Definitely brings, like, a lot of experiences, and with those experiences, our memories that will carry on.